Winter is a great time for a citrus harvest, but it's also a good time to check out your tree for any problems that could have been hanging over from the last growing season and before the onset of spring. Now this one is laden with fruit, but if yours are not and they've outgrown their space, it's a good opportunity just to bring the height down by a metre or two and in from the side. It does have a lot of dead twigs and branches. They need to be removed out because they're drawing disease into the main canopy of the tree. Now, the other thing I noticed is quite a lot of citrus leaf miner. It's really curling up those leaves. It's sometimes known as leaf curl of citrus. But it's a good idea to get rid of those infected leaves now and put them in the bin, not the compost. There's also some scale and black sooty mould. You know, it's a good idea to actually spray your citrus every two or three weeks with one of the horticultural oils and do that right throughout the year. Now, if you've downsized your home and garden recently, or maybe your garden is a courtyard or a balcony, yet you still want to grow those beautiful citrus and harvest them fresh, I've got something really magical to show you. It's called flying dragon, and it's a dwarfing rootstock. Yes, you can still grow all your favourite fruits on the top full size, but the root system will stay small forever. This one's a Washington Naval Orange, and it's just one year old. And three years later, this is what you'll buy at your local garden centre. A fabulous, beautiful tree. There's our Washington Naval. See how it's grown. And then Robbie Engel, seedless mandarin, a beautiful little tree ready to plant, and the Tahitian lime. Now, this is interesting. On the old rootstock, it would grow to around about six, seven, or eight metres tall. A huge tree, and the fruit's way up there, you can't harvest it. Now, Tahitian lime on flying dragon rootstock, two, maybe three metres tall. Much easier to manage. Now, of course, when you're selecting your varieties, yes, you can certainly grow regular understock varieties of citrus in pots, but you'll need to repot them every four or five years. If you're using Flying Dragon as an understock, you won't need to repot it ever again. And talking of pots, avoid really deep ones. You end up with a whole lot of damp, boggy soil underneath the roots and you get root rot. Now, of all your favourite varieties that are available on the Dwarf Flying Dragon rootstock, I've actually chosen Lemonade. It's an interesting tree. It's a cross between a lemon, which it looks like, but inside you get that mandarin flavour because that's what it's been crossed with. So you get the tanginess and the sweetness of the mandarin. So much so that you can pick the fruit straight off the tree and eat it. Now, when you're planting any citrus, they must get at least six to eight hours of sunshine every day and well-drained soil. A raised garden bed is just perfect. OK, all citrus are planted the same way. Dig the hole about twice the width of the plant in its original pot. And for the depth, test the plant so that the graft union is still around about four to five, six centimetres above soil level. Improve the backfilling soil with some pellet of manure. You could also use control release fertiliser or blood and bone. But don't use a powdered fertiliser, it'll burn the roots. Backfill right around the hole and then water it in with a seaweed solution. So if you keep these few things in mind, you'll have a fantastic citrus harvest, no matter whether you're growing in the garden, in a courtyard or in pots on a balcony.